I think the last person I would want to see, the last person in the big leagues right now, is Freddie Freeman. He gets to all quadrants. He can hit it anywhere, derail. What can he do? Lauren, kind of jumping off that, we talk about certain analytic numbers, OPSs and slug and everything that goes into it. But you want to talk about one of the most professional hitters of the last 15 years. It's Freddie Freeman because not only does he give you the power, 28, 31 homers respectively, this is a guy whose batting average is through the roof. And when the game is on the line, the seventh, eighth, and ninth inning, like you said, Lauren, this is the last guy you want. But the thing that blows my mind about Freddie, and then I'm going to central booking the whole Atlanta Braves saga the rest of the year, and we're not going to discuss it because Matt Olson doesn't deserve it, and neither does Freddie Freeman anymore. But I was always amazed at the great players that I played with. The world could be burning around them, but their four at bats, it never seemed to matter. If I had stuff going on off the field, it kind of trickled onto the field. I don't know if I mentally wasn't as tough as the greats or it didn't come as easy. But when I watched the Chipper Joneses, the Albert Pujols, the different guys I had a chance to play with, it didn't matter what was happening on the outside. For their four ABs and from 7 to 1030 at night, they could lock in and eliminate all the noise. And that is what he has done all year. Hitters hit. And that's what Freddie Freeman is. And this series, come on. 13 for 16. He's hitting over his last 32 games. He's hitting 383 with 19 extra base hits. Okay, pause this real quick. Bring up the highest average since the start of 2018. These are the guys you don't want to see in big spots. Michael Brantley will steal your soul. He'll annoy you so much. Trey Turner, Xander Bogarts, consummate professionals up and down the board, these five guys right here. Okay? And what makes, if you're going to hit for high average, and they add in some pop to go with it, Freddie does, what do you have to have the ability to do? You got to have the ability to use the whole field. Let's get into it a little bit. Freddie Freeman, when you talk to him about hitting, and I've chronicled this a bunch, he talks about his entire batting practice. I am trying to hit a bullet over the shortstop's head every time up. And then the velocity of the pitch and the quadrant with which it's in allows me, back that up real quick, to pull it, to hit it the other way. Watch this. He's thinking up the middle the other way the entire time, and that's a changeup, and he stays back on that, and he is able to drive that over Dylan Carlson's head. Now, he is completely locked in, so he's unshiftable. Bullet the other way, left on what left in the fourth inning right here. Left on left. Drew Smiley again. I'm taking you up the middle the other way. Everything is centered and squared on staying inside the baseball and driving it into the left center gap. And then if you happen to hang something, I'll pull it because I'm in perfect position to hit. But Craig Stammen, bottom of the seventh. Let's get into some boards. Most opposite field hits. Pause this real quick. Bring it up. Most opposite field hits in Major League Baseball 2021 season. Look at Miggy. There's Freddie Freeman, top of the list again. 226 opposite field hits since the start of 2018. That's second in all of baseball. So he is an unshiftable player. He doesn't cheat to anything. He handles every pitch you got as long as it's over the 17 inches. And he has been phenomenal. The other thing we've noticed this year, Max Wildstein, kind of Eric Nays researcher to the stars, not in today. So we're going with Max on this one. He's been killing the drill. He talked about him hitting completely different with no one on and then runners in scoring position. Let's bring up the boards on those, please. Take a look at this. Freddie's bored when no one's on base. I've played with guys like this. Season splits, stats with bases empty versus runners on. 267 batting average, a 442 slug, and a 765 OPS. When there are people out there on those pillows, though, runners on, 174 plate appearances, a 397 batting average, and an OPS of north of 1100. So. Let's get into this one real quick, and then I want a side angle. Highest OPS with runners on base, 2022. 
Carlos Santana jumps out at me right here. But there you go. You got Paul Goldschmidt, who, who's the NL MVP for the first half. Freddie's breathing down his neck. And then Nolan Arenado, who's one of the best in the business. So I just want to get into Freddie Freeman on a side angle shot, if I can. Devin keeps his hands inside, flips one over in an 0-1 count. He never comes outside himself. He keeps it very simple on what he's trying to do. Run this. It's perfection. Let's the ball get super deep. Pause this for me. Now, to be around Freddie Freeman, this guy is 6'5". He looks like an octopus in the box. There's really not many places you can go right here. But he doesn't gain any ground going forward. This is a guy that if you come around here, he sets himself up where he's almost going to stick himself into the ground and trust his hands and almost work from down to up in the strike zone, almost giving you the sense of nothing's coming forward, nothing's gaining ground. We talked about it with Juan Soto. He lets the ball get back, and he just tries to manipulate a bullet over the shortstop's head. Watch this real quick. Choked up, simple hand move. Doesn't gain any ground going forward. Stays on his backside. And beautiful hand-eye coordination. Just hitter's hit. He's one of the greatest hitters in the game. Doesn't matter what uniform he's wearing. Doesn't matter what's happening. Outside peripheral noise. When he's right, you can't get him out.